Bonjour! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tiff. I'm an American living in Paris, and today we're going Christmas shopping. <laughs> have seen my other vlogs you already know that this is the first year that I'm spending Christmas in Paris away from my family and honestly it's really really major for me because regardless of where I've lived throughout the world I've always made it a point to go home for Christmas but of course with the current state of the world it's just probably not the safest option so I will be spending Christmas here in Paris which means I need a Christmas decor I need a Christmas tree I've honestly never really had to do all of this stuff because I would always go home for about two weeks or so and everything was set up there so today we are going Christmas shopping and getting all of that fun stuff um, I think we will go to Casa Hema this place called Jiffy just to see what we can find so let's see but I need my apartment to get Christmas up and also today I'm being a bit less lazy with my vlogging so I am using my actual camera usually when I vlog I literally just use my iPhone so comment below if you can see a difference in quality and if you like this quality better because sometimes I'm not sure if it's worth it to lug my camera around and if I can just vlog on my iPhone so let me know in the comments below if you like the quality of this vlog um, better than the other vlogs on my channel if you've been watching for a while but one thing that I do notice is that this lens isn't as wide as like my iPhone camera so I think I might get a wider lens for this camera if I do end up wanting to just vlog with this so let's see already just had a malfunction the mic literally just fell off so let's see if it's okay to walk around with but also guys I wanted to show you this care package that my family sent they're so cute so as you know out here in Paris it's kind of hard to find some of the things that I can find in the States for instance honey nut Cheerios I cannot find this in Paris I cannot find it here so my parents sent this to me in my little care package um, they also sent me you guys are gonna die some Lari seasoning salt like oh my gosh I literally cannot find this anywhere in Paris so if you're living out here and you've been able to find this please please let me know they sent me so many masks like honestly no shortage of masks here in like all of these different colors and prints thanks mom and dad and then they sent me and my boyfriend our Christmas Eve gifts. So we have a tradition in my family where on Christmas Eve we get together and we're allowed to open one gift. And it's usually our Christmas Eve pajamas that we wear that night and then we wear when we're opening our gifts in the morning. It's a little cute tradition that my family does. So they sent us our Christmas Eve pajamas, which is really cute, but I love getting care packages for my family. You guys are the best. Oh, and a little update on the lockdown situation in Paris, because you guys are probably like, how is this girl going out shopping because Paris is supposed to be locked down? But a few weeks ago, or I think it was last weekend, the president um, basically opened up all of the shops. So we are allowed to now go Christmas shopping. The restaurants are still closed. We still have to carry around that document that says why we're going to be outside, but we are able to go Christmas shopping. And my friend actually went on the first weekend that he opened up the shops and said it was a madhouse, it was crazy, and recommended that if we did wanna go shopping that we go on the weekend. So today it is Tuesday, um, the 7th, 8th, 7th or 8th, I can't remember. I need to look at my calendar, but it is Tuesday, so we are going um, on a weekday. Just hoping that the stores aren't super, super crowded. So let's see, fingers crossed, because I don't want to be around too many people. And um, just kind of want to be in and out of these stores just so that we can get what we need. So let's see. Oh, an update. It is the 8th, December 8th. So I'm going to grab my jacket, get my purse together, and then off to go Christmas shopping. Bye. It's cold. 
dancing in Christmas My gosh, my microphone was turned off literally that whole time. So let's see how this video comes out. Oh my God, I really hope I still have some footage to work with. But anyways, we're about to go back into Casa to get some, to get the Christmas tree, some decor, and that's it. Oh my God, I cannot believe that this microphone wasn't working that whole time. got what we needed from casa now we are on the way home i cannot believe my mic wasn't on that entire time so we're gonna see how much of this vlog i can salvage we're getting back on the metro yay christmas part one there are definitely a bunch of stuff that we're gonna have to buy offline like i couldn't find stockings or anything like that so let's see Hey guys, I'm back home. This is actually a few days later. So after we went shopping, I was completely exhausted. And let me know if any of you guys have been feeling this way, but like I was super anxious, just kind of being out and about. And to be honest with you guys, there were a lot of people out, which I personally wasn't expecting. Um, and I think I said earlier in the vlog, like I wanted to go on a weekday because I didn't think as many people were gonna be out, but so many people were out shopping in the stores and it was a lot for me. Um, it was a lot. And I think just, you know, from being home, so much and then being like integrated back into society if you will so I don't know it was a lot it was a lot for me so I kind of just wanted to be in and out I didn't get everything that I wanted to get um, so I will have to get some things online because I don't know if I want to be out going to all of these stores again especially with how crowded they were so there are a few things that I want to get online but I did manage to at least get the basics so like a Christmas tree and some decor so I want to show you guys everything that we got and you guys can let me know what you think so starting with our Christmas tree so we found um, this Christmas tree at Casa it was like the second store that we went into 
And I love that it's small enough to fit in my apartment because you guys know that my apartment isn't huge. It's 180 centimeters tall, which I think is about um, five feet. And it's also pretty um, skinny, like pretty narrow. I was so happy to find this tree. I really do think it's the perfect size for this apartment. And I did decide to go with an artificial tree because this is my very first Christmas tree, like very first time like setting it up and having one in my own apartment. And I know that having real trees can sometimes be a bit of work, like sometimes you need to water them, um, the pine needles can fall, you need to clean them up. Like I kind of just wanted something that was low maintenance, especially because I'm so bad with plants. Like even the plants that I have right now, like I have an aloe plant that I only have to water once every two weeks or so. So I did decide to get an artificial Christmas tree, but comment below um, if you are celebrating Christmas if you got an artificial tree or a real tree um, for this Christmas I'd love to hear from you guys then also I got some decor for the Christmas tree but honestly guys I really didn't get um, that much when I went out shopping the other day so I wanted my color scheme for the Christmas tree to be like burgundy and gold but like the white gold like not the super yellow gold so I found these ornaments which I thought were really really cute um, they just, you know, some have um, sparkles, some are matte, some are glossy. So I thought that these were really cute. Not glossy, shiny. And then also got these gold ones. So I think that these will go together really well. And then I also found these really cute um, lights for the tree. So they're actually the lights that I was looking at in the vlog, earlier in the vlog. This little guy right here. So I think that these could be really cute to kind of just string on the Christmas tree. I think they're super cute and classy. So I'm excited about these. And then we also just got some wrapping paper. So that's pretty much it for all the Christmas decor that I got. Um, I did also go into the store called Hema, which was in the like Gare Saint Lazare, like the mall over there. And I was like, I need to get out of the store. Like they did have some cute stuff, but it was so crowded. So I just, I wasn't having it. So we just, we didn't really um, shop in there too much. We basically just took to Casa. But I did also go into Passage du Havre, which is like another mall near Saint Lazare, because I really wanted to go into Nature et Découvert, which is that store that I was in in another one of my vlogs that has a lot of like health and wellness type of items, because I really wanted an essential oil diffuser and I finally got mine. Oh, I'm so excited for this. So I'm so excited about my essential oil diffuser. Do any of you guys use one? Um, I honestly got it, especially because I've been having the worst trouble sleeping, like insomnia at its finest. And I don't know if you guys have been experiencing this, um, but I kind of feel like just because of the state of the world right now, holidays coming up, not being around family, maybe I just have a little bit of anxiety around that, I don't know, but I've been having um, the worst insomnia, weird dreams, like nightmares and things like that, like it's been really crazy. Um, and I have heard that these essential oil diffusers do help a lot with sleep. So fingers crossed, let's see. 
Um, but this insomnia is definitely a thing to the point that I actually did hypnotherapy this past week. Have any of you guys done hypnotherapy? It was my first time trying it. Um, I don't know if I saw like a huge difference, but um, I guess like afterwards you're supposed to talk to your therapist and kind of talk through things. So um, that's to come probably next week. But yeah, I wanted to give it a try to see if it helped a bit with my sleep um, and insomnia and things like that. So let me know if you guys have tried it and if it's worked for you. But other than that, I'm excited to put up my tree and my decor and get more decorations so I'll definitely do another video for you guys where I set up my tree and decorate my apartment because I really want it to feel like Christmas in here like I want to get some cute stuff for my fireplace and like the stockings the Christmas stockings and all of that stuff so definitely to come um, I just need to order like a bunch of stuff off Amazon so soon come but I am glad that I at least have the basics like the Christmas tree some ornaments things like that so we get in there slowly but surely. And even though I was a bit anxious being out and about, it was kind of nice to see Paris during Christmas, um, just with the lights up and everything like that. I think one thing that I would have loved to experience this year though, are the Christmas markets in Paris. I've been to a few over the years, but like they are the bomb, they're so cute. Um, and it just really makes you feel like you're in the Christmas spirit, if you guys know what I mean. But obviously these markets most likely won't be open just with the current state of the world. So I don't know, it's my very first First Christmas in Paris it would have been really nice to experience but who knows maybe next year but anyways guys that's it for me I hope you enjoyed this day in the life Christmas edition definitely more to come thank you so much for watching stay safe and happy holidays Bye.